Okay, so I'm finally doing a bamboo comparison video. I'm just gonna talk about my favorites and then my least favorites and why they're my favorites and why they're my least favorites. So I'm gonna start out with my favorites. Um, first we have Bamboo Little. And then we have In My Jammers. And then we've got um, Free Birdies. And then obviously Kite Baby. So those fours are my favorites. And then the ones that I'm really just not, you know, liking as much and probably won't buy again are Kiki Pants, Little Sleepies, and Little Bum Bum. So let me just start out with my favorites um, and why they're my favorites. So Kite Baby, this is just kind of the goat of bamboo. I mean, most people, when they think of bamboo pajamas, you're thinking of Kite Baby. I love the material on Kite Baby. I love that there are so many different options, whether it's snap footies, snap rompers, zipper rompers, zipper footies. Um, they just have a ton of different variety in my opinion. I love the colors and I love the prints that they do. And I just love, I just love how it fits my girls. Kite fits my girls the best. Next up, we got Free Birdies. Um, I just recently started using this brand. Uh, very, very similar to Kite. I think that's one reason why I really like it. Like, I can hardly tell the difference, to be honest. In My Jammers, this is a really, really new brand. I believe it just came out like last week because uh, that's when I bought them. I really, really like these. Not only because of the prints. Their material is very, very similar to Little Sleepies, but it's thicker, so I think that's why I like it. Um, it has the fold-over cuffs like Little Sleepies. But yeah, um, In My Jammers. And then Bamboo Little, I just recently started using this brand as well. Once again, super, super similar to Kite. The only difference I've really seen is that Bamboo Little has the little foot pads, whereas Kite doesn't have those until you reach six to 12 months. Um, and then this is a three to six months. So um, I haven't been using this long enough to have any flaws, but I don't really think it will just because it's so similar to Kite. And then the ones that I don't like as much, Little Bum Bums, we haven't been using them for that long. I just don't reach for them. And I don't know if it's because of the prints. We were lucky enough to be gifted uh, these from Little Bum Bums. I do, I have been on the actual site and they do have a really, really cute prints. It's just the ones they sent me aren't really that much my style. But the material itself, I really, I do like it. And I love the little feet pads on these. They're so cute. And the zipper, it's just, I think I just don't reach for them because of the, the print. It's just not my style. And Little Sleepies. Um, once again, Little Sleepies has ridiculously cute prints. But I don't like the material. It's way too thin. Um, every every Little Sleepies I've had gets holes in them in the wash. So that's kind of unfortunate. Little Sleepies does have the fold over cuffs. I will say Little Sleepies is long. Like they fit long. And so newborn still fits Goldie and she's seven months old. So that is a pro to the Little Sleepies. But the only reason I don't reach for them is just because the material is so thin. I just, I just don't prefer it. And then Kiki Pants, I haven't really used this that much. Uh, it's a six to nine months, so Goldie just now got into it. I don't have any like negative things to say about it because like I said, I have not used it that much. I just don't reach for it that much. So that's the reason why it's in my like, I probably won't buy again just because I don't really reach for it. Um, but it does have little ruffles on the butt and little ruffle here. And I do like the print. It's like a little passport travel print. But like I said, I just don't reach for it. So out of all these, I do think Kite Baby is the best quality pajama. So price wise, your cheapest option is going to be Kite Baby. Um, a snap footie is $30 and then a zipper footie is about $33. So Kite Baby is going to be your cheapest option, which is crazy because to me, Kite Baby is the best. Um, in my jammers, you're gonna look at $39, so about $40 for one pair of pajamas. And I will say in my jammers only comes in this style, um, and it only goes up to, I think, 18 to 24 months. So after that, you have to get the two piece. Free birdies is $34. And then bamboo little is $34 as well. So cheapest option with my favorites is going to be Kite Baby. And then with my least favorites, uh, Little Sleepies is $35. Little Bum Bum is $36, which I just looked at their website and their Valentine's Day prints are pretty cute. 
And then Kiki Pants is the most expensive at $40 for a zipper ruffle footie. And so that is kind of like the price breakdown with all of them. So this is a size three to six months. Goldie is seven months and she still fits in this. Goldie actually can wear zero to three, three to six in Kite Baby. She cannot fit into the six to 12 yet. They are ginormous on her. Uh, for ones that I think do fit pretty long are Little Sleepies. Um, like I said, these are newborns and these still fit on Goldie. We don't really put her in them because we have so many other ones that we just kind of filter newborns out in general. But for longevity, I do think little sleepies do fit pretty long, but I do think you have to have like a certain type of baby. Like, um, so Goldie's kind of just chunky. She's not really long. So if you have long skinny babies, I think little sleepies would be a really good option for you. Like I said, I like, I just like the way Kite fits on my baby. Um, I get a lot of comments about Kite baby being thin, but every single bamboo you get is going to be thin bamboo is a thin material so i always would get comments like oh i love it but it's just so thin it's meant to be that way it's meant to be snug fitting it says like on the tags that it is snug fitting i don't know if you can see that but yeah so it says wear snug fitting non-flame resistant so it's supposed to be close to the skin um personally I think it's very comfortable. Um, I have Kite Baby myself and I love the way it feels on my body. And so I know it has to be comfy for the girls. And when I like, when I see comments saying that, oh, it's just so tight. The only thing I can like think of is like leggings. So like I'm wearing Lululemon leggings right now. You like your leggings tight. Like you wouldn't want your leggings loose. So, I don't know, that's just kind of an example. Like that's what I think of when people say, oh, they're so tight fitting, but they literally are not tight fitting. They just fit close to the skin. So another question I get is, I wanna branch out from Kite Baby, but I don't know which branch to choose. So um, if you wanna kind of stick to similar wear as Kite Baby, I would go with Bamboo Little or Free Birdies. Those two are very, very similar to Kite Baby. So those are the ones that I think if you wanted to branch out, but kind of wanted to stay in the same like, you know, fit, I would definitely try these two brands. If you wanted to branch out from Little Sleepies, I would try in my jammers. Um, if you wanted to stick with the same, you know, kind of fit, because I think they're very similar, but like I said, in my jammers, it's just a little bit thicker, which is why I like them, because I do like Little Sleepies, I really do. It's just the material, it just doesn't do it for me. It's just, the material on, uh, little sleepies are just way thin to me. So if you want to try bamboo and you don't know which brand to try, the cheapest option is going to be Kite Baby. I know Kate Quinn has bamboo, but personally, um, I used to use it for Penelope when she was a baby and it really just did not hold up. And so I wouldn't really recommend it. Also guys, um, Kite Baby has buy, sell, trade pages. I know Little Sleepies has buy, sell, trade pages. I'm sure all of these bamboo brands have buy, sell, trade pages on Facebook. And I know a lot of times people try to sell them for more than they're worth, but you can also find these on resale sites called like Mercari or Poshmark. Um, I have found things there before, uh, but yeah. So when it comes to prints, like which brands do I think have the best prints? Um, I would have to go with Kite Baby, obviously. I love how subtle their prints are. I love how gender neutral their prints are. Um, obviously that was a solid. But um, Bamboo Little also has some super cute prints that are uh, gender neutral. They have a sea turtle one, a little fish one that I think are really cute. Uh, and my jammers, really, really cute prints. They have this one, they had a um, little pink checkered one, and then they had a, a star one that was super cute. Um, and I'm only talking about girls just because I only have, I have two girls, I don't have any boys. Little Sleepy's prints are cute, but some of them are very over the top and obnoxious, but I do think some of them are cute. Free Birdies, their Valentine's Day print was very cute. Um, that's the only one I really looked at because that was how I found them. I found them from their Valentine's Day print. Little Bum Bums, again, um, some of the prints are pretty crazy, but uh, like I said, I just went on their website and some of their prints are really, really cute. Um, solids, hands down, Kite Baby will be my favorite for solids. They have a lot of options, um, and I think they're all really cute. They're always coming out with new colors. Um, so solids would have to be Kite Baby, would take the cake for that. 
So that is gonna be the end of my review on Bamboo Pajamas. Obviously, um, if you didn't know already, Kite Baby is my favorite bamboo brand. I am partial to Kite Baby because I do partner with them, but um, I bought hundreds of dollars worth of their product before I started partnering with them. And I still buy a ton, a ton of their products. Um, of course, they send me stuff. Their spring line is about ready to drop. And I'm gonna buy so much from that dang spring line. It's crazy. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. If you guys have any videos that you wanna see and we'll talk about bamboo or whatever, just go ahead and let me know in the comments. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.